Okay, y'all. So I'm about to make a seafood boil. And this is going to be a quick vlog of me showing y'all me making my seafood boil. I showed y'all a whole bunch of times, but I'll just show y'all again. Okay, this is what I'm going to be making. So let me show y'all. I got these Wild King crab legs from Sam's Club. And it's 1.5 pound bag, y'all. And look at the price. Look at the price, y'all. 63.17, 39.98 per pound. That is crazy. I remember I used to buy those. Oh my gosh, I ain't gonna even do it here. All right, then we got some snow crab legs. That I got these from my Giant Eagle um, grocery store. I don't know if you have them where you are. And these were 34.09 wild snow crab clusters. And this is 1.79 pounds. Y'all, these are like the big ones. These are the good ones. I hope these are the good, big ones. Because the big ones, the meat just comes right out of them. Yep, so these are the king crab legs. These are pretty big, y'all. And they're already... Um, fully cooked so when I make them all I do is I just put a little bit of water at the bottom of the pan and I also put some of my 90s flavor seasoning which I'm about to get and some butter in the bottom of the pan too so it could like all steam up and I cover them okay and over here I have some corn or cob boiling with one egg because I'm not going to I got a lot of stuff so I don't need like a whole bunch of extra stuff on the side but this is um yeah one corn on a cob and one egg. The corner cob I get in a pack at Sam's Club and um, it's real good to y'all. I usually would use my 90s flavor, but it is gone. I didn't know it was gone, but it is. So I'm just gonna put some butter and I'm using, I cannot believe it's not butter. I just put like a spoonful in the bottom. So like this much y'all. That might be more than a spoonful. That's what I use. Yeah, I found an extra container up there that has a little bit in there, so we're good. So pour some on there, okay? I am going to add in the snow crabs with these king crabs, okay? So I'm just gonna add those snow crabs, these ones right here, these into the same pan right here. All right, so I'm about to cover this and put this in the oven, okay? I got my oven preheated to 400 degrees, y'all. 400 degrees. Cover this with some aluminum foil. And get ready to put this in the oven. I'm not gonna put it in the oven just yet. I'm just gonna set it aside because I'm about to uh, cut open my lobster tails. And I like to put them in there at the same exact time so they can get them at the same time. I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna cut these lobster tails. So these, I don't know what kind of lobster tails these are, but these are the kind that are always, I like the way these turn red. It's frozen tray, 7.5 ounce, uh, pack raw lobster tails. I say to peel the thing, here we go. One lobster tail, one lobster tail. Put that there, get the other one out. Up. All right, so I just cut right down the middle. And I hope I don't get a surprise. I don't like when that stuff is in the middle, so I'm be really upset if it's in here. That's why sometimes I don't be wanting to have lobster tails because I don't want. Don't have to worry about that surprise in the middle. Okay, so you just take it out, pop it on top of the shell like that. See that, y'all? But I gotta get this, see that vein right there, whatever that is, poop vein. I don't know what that is right there, but I'm gonna get that off of there. You gotta get that out of there. I'm not eating that. Okay. Get that off. And usually when I rinse it off, it just comes off. 
it's not that hard. It's very simple. And I rinse them real good, y'all, because I don't like it. And I always break the back of these. So that way, when I eat in my video, I'm not like really struggling with them. So I like break the back a little bit. The little whatever this is, the little tendon. I don't know what it is. Y'all help me out with that. All right, so that just goes on top. We're just gonna cook that right on top. That's so beautiful. Look at it. Beautiful. So rinse that. Rinse it out real good, y'all. Put this right there. Try to get my family. I'm gonna do that little thing that way. Pray for no surprise in here, y'all. Pray. Nope, no surprise in this one either. Thank you, Jesus. This is why they be stuck in there, because if I don't get it all the way at the bottom, it'll be stuck in the shell when I be trying to eat it. This one's real beautiful. You look how white that one is. So I put some water in this pan too. And then I just um, put the lobster tail in there in the pan. I only got two. I put the lobster tails in the pan. I don't know if you can see that, but it's dripping on my foot. So I'm going to, um, I just put a little bit of water at the bottom and then I usually dry them off. <laughs> dry them off first. I take some olive oil and I just drizzle it on it. And then I rub it down, like all the way around. Okay, I rub it down. You know, you gotta show your lobster tail some love, okay? So you gotta make sure you rub them down, give them that real good massage so they can be tender. I'm gonna take some garlic powder and I also season the back part. It's just powder, so it's not gonna kill you. Back part, all right? And some paprika, just for color. All right, we'll do the back in the front. Oh, don't you fall now. All right, so back in the front. And I'm gonna take some parsley flakes and just do the top. I'm gonna bring y'all in closer so y'all can see these. Just putting the parsley flakes on there. They on the gangsta lane right now, but I'm gonna fix them. Don't worry, don't worry. Gangsta lane it up. All right, all right. So these are ready. Everything is ready to go into the oven. So I'm gonna put the king crab legs and the snow crabs in there and the um, lobster tails in the oven for 20 minutes. I don't cover these ones. corn and the egg is done so I'm actually going to just drain this because I don't want to cook any longer I got a special sauce in here but I added some butter and I'm gonna put some more garlic in here I'm gonna bring y'all closer so y'all can see uh, need some water first add a little bit more water into this because I added some more butter to it. So make it a little bit more cooler. Okay, I just added some extra stuff in there. But I'm going to add some onion, like a whole onion, so it can um, get some a little bit in here. So I need to add some more. I'm 
can use this whole onion. And I'm gonna cut it different ways. So I'm gonna cut one like thin. I'm just gonna chop this one up. potatoes in the microwave y'all all right y'all so this is the shrimp i'm going to be using it's great value for warmer it's peeled divine i love this shrimp so my red potatoes are done i like to rub those down with some olive oil each one and i like to just rub that around on them frying up some turkey sausage this is smoked um hardwood smoked turkey sausage i think it's butterball i usually get hillshire farms but they didn't have any so I just like to fry this up until it gets like kind of black on each side. Almost ready. Cooking the shrimp now. I like to cook my shrimp separately. I got a little bit of nice flavor, a little corner within that bottle. I have some garlic powder and a little bit of butter. Alright y'all, so everything is done. Look at that. So I got the E special sauce right here in the bowl, y'all. A lot of onions, garlic, and I put some more um, banana pepper rings in here. So this is sauce, oil. So I thank you guys for joining me today while I make my seafood boil. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, hit your notifications bell, all that good stuff. If you want to watch the mukbang, I will link it in the description box below. It should be already up on my channel by the time you're watching this. But I thank you guys so much. So other than that, I will catch you guys on the next video. Until then, bye-bye.